Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner. Monday, April 14, 2014. Class 173, Hand 21. Consider all options. The following hand I'd probably classify as an advanced hand. The question is, what is the best play percentage-wise to make your contract in a rather aggressive slam? Let's start at the beginning. But take your time in the analysis. Well, here you are as South. You are the dealer. Both sides are vulnerable. Let's begin with the obvious questions. Number one, what are your starting points? And number two, what is your opening bid? What are your starting points? Let's start with 18 high card points, but we better subtract one for the Queen Jack Doubleton of Spades. Subtract one for a just three because we got four queens and a jack. But we can add two points for the six diamonds and we can add an additional point for a quality diamond suit. It's almost an independent suit, but not quite. So we have 19 starting points. Question number two, what's your opening bid? It's one diamond. More question. The bidding proceeds. Pass. Partner bids a spade. Goes pass. You're up for another bid. Questions are, what is your second bid and are there other possibilities? And I guess there are. My choice would be to no trump. You have all suits stopped. Yes, you have a six-card diamond suit, but it's basically balanced. You have all suits covered. Are there other possibilities? Yes, some people might bid three diamonds. I prefer two no trump. It's more descriptive. The bidding now proceeds. After two no trump, it goes pass. Your partner bids three clubs goes pass. Okay, we're up for a third round. What is partner asking about with three clubs? And based upon that, what is your third bid? I hope you and your partner have an understanding. This is similar to a new minor forcing. You can call it stamen, check back stamen, or whatever term you want. Partner is asking for major suit information. If you have three card spade support, you should raise him. If you don't, but you have four hearts, you should bid four hearts. You should bid hearts, three hearts. If you have neither one, bid a more descriptive bid. In this case, the choice of my third bid is three diamonds. I can't raise the spades and I can't bid the hearts. Now, partner comes in after pass with four no trump. It goes pass. Okay, what is partner's bid of four no trump? And based upon that understanding, what is your call? Well, I hope again you and partner have an understanding. What is partner's bid? I take this bid as quantitative, asking you to go to six with the maximum. And I have a maximum. I have a good six card diamond suit. And I'm going to go to six. So I bid six no trump. And some people would bid six diamonds. It might be safer. That's all right, too. Anyway, you are now in six no trump because it goes pass, pass, pass. You are now in six no trump. Opening lead is the jack of clubs. And before we do anything here, in fact, we analyze the entire hand before we play to the first trick. 
Let's go through the obvious analysis. Let's analyze the hand. Where are your winners and what are your winners? This is a fascinating hand. Let's count them. And number, question number 10, what is the right way to develop the diamond suit? Because that's really critical for this hand. Well, let's look at it. With the opening lead to jack of clubs, what are your winners? You have four spades. Actually, you probably have five spades. You can write down five spades. You have one heart and two clubs. Now, the number of diamonds you have depends on how you're going to play it and how successful you are at playing it. The question is, can you come to 12 tricks? If you can manage five diamonds, you're home because you're going to get five diamonds together with two clubs, one heart, and four spades. Now, if there's some way you could manage four diamonds and you probably get five spades, that would be fine, but you, how can you make four diamonds and not lose more than one? It's kind of hard to do, unless the opponent really went to sleep. So that's really not practical, but it, I guess it's possible. What is the right way to develop the diamond suit? And that is really the question of this hand. Let's analyze the possibilities. Possible ways to develop diamonds. The first choice would be to win the club in dummy and immediately take a diamond finesse to the queen. If we do that and the finesse fails, West will probably return a heart. With spades still blocked, we have a real problem, and unless the diamond split 3-2, we're probably going to go down. Second choice is win the hand in your hand with the ace. You keep the king of clubs as an entry and cash the ace of diamonds. Several possible things might happen. First thing that might happen if, is the king drops. Unlikely, but if it does, you're home. You can't lose more than one more trick if the king drops. If the ten drops, you can lead a low diamond to the nine. Now, if the nine holes, you return to your hand with a spade and continue diamonds, and you're still good. If neither the ten nor the king drop, you still can lead in honor, and if the diamond split 3-2, you'll still make it. Well, 3-2 will happen 68% of the time, and two times out of five, you'll pick up another honor, so it's almost an 80% chance if you play option B. Which play is better? With option A, first of all, you couldn't ever cash five spades because you can't get over there again. <laughs> the other problem with option A is even if the diamond finesse holds, West may be playing games with you and hold off on the king. Then you have to waste an entry to go over to do a repeat finesse. You might end up being the, the cat who didn't catch the canary. With option B, you keep option one alive, and also there's a possibility that you could drop a singleton king or jack of hearts, which could make you another trick as well. That's another possibility, but it's a far-fetched possibility. But the answer is option B is the best option. Let's play out option B and see how it goes. Let's win the ace in our hand. Now let's play the ace of diamonds. And, of course, we set this up so it would happen. The ten fills. Now what do we do? We lead a two of diamonds. Of course, uh, east. West is going to show out. And let's say that for the sake of argument, 
East refuses to play. And I suppose at this point we should show all four hands, so let's do that. We're still fine. We lead a spade to the queen. Or the jack, it doesn't matter. And now we lead out the diamonds. At some point in time, this trick or the next, East is going to be forced to take his king of diamonds. Once he does, it's over. We will have the rest of the tricks play it out. You have a club, you have three diamonds, you have a heart, and you got three or four spades. You still have an entry on the board, so you have tricks to burn. By and large, the best play in this hand is to play the ace of diamonds first. Tomorrow, we're going to go back in class 174 to reverse it. I'm not talking the bidding. I'm talking about dummy reversal. See you tomorrow.